day. It's been a little while since I've like sat down and filmed, which I don't like because you know, I like doing this shit, like I like doing it whenever I can. However, as you might be able to tell, like I feel like it sounds a little bit better today, but I have not been very well. But yeah, it was my 21st birthday last week, so obviously that was amazing, like, wow. My double chin looks really bad at the minute. I'm gonna like hope that it's because my tonsils are swollen. But yeah, what I'm gonna do say is just I think do like kind of a tutorial, but also just kind of like chat and like tell you about things. I actually have my slumber mod top on right now. <laughs> Life. I'm actually gonna do my eyebrows first because I want to. Yeah, I don't know if my um, pomade's just like getting really old, but it's getting a little bit like, it's weird because it feels a bit greasy, but it also feels a bit crumbly. So, you know, that's great. But that's one reason why I want to do my eyebrows first, because I can just get them on and then clean them up and nobody will ever know. So, now that I've got some like, huge eyebrows on, I want to carve them out, um, and I use concealer now anyway to have to... I use concealer now anyway to primer eyelids because A, you don't need to buy an eye primer, win-win situation, and B, it covers out all my horrible veiny shit that goes on on my eyelids, so I'm okay with that. So yeah, I just make sure that the underneath is really, really sharp and then the lid you just whack it on. And then I also just like to set it really, really quick with a random powder just because having hooded eyes, mine are really, really likely to crease. So that just stops that from happening. The palette I'm going to be using for my eyeshadow is the Juvia's Place Masquerade Palette. I always wanted to get this but like just never bought it for myself I don't know why I just didn't um so I asked Brandon to get it for me for my birthday I've used it twice so far but I've only really used the more like natural colors um so hopefully I'm gonna have something a little bit more fun today hopefully I'm gonna start off with Burkina and you don't have to worry too much about the outside bit because that'll get cleaned up later. But yeah, on my actual birthday, um, Brendan actually took me to like a spa. So that was really nice. It was like super relaxing. And I honestly felt like I could have like slept for a week. Um, so yeah, that was amazing. And honestly, if you've never been before, I'd 100% recommend it. Like I was always that person who was really scared about going and getting a massage um because obviously you don't have the best body ever but the woman was just so lovely like she really put me at ease and it was just amazing and we got a two course meal there as well for lunch you know where it's like you come back from holiday and you like get really sad and you really 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 wish you could go like you could go back like that's the kind of feeling i'm getting it was as if I'd honestly gone on holiday for like the day. If you're in Liverpool or anywhere near it, like can travel or will travel, um, where we went, it was called The Suites and it's in Knowsley. So it's really, really easy to get, get to because I think it's just off the M57. 110% would recommend it. I'm just gonna go in with Bori, which looks kind of shimmery, but I think if I blend it, it won't be, who knows. But yeah, the spa was absolutely unreal. And in the evening we went out for a meal and again the food was just amazing. So my birthday was on the Tuesday by the way, I don't know if I mentioned that. And it was the Friday morning where I woke up and I was like, oh no. <laughs> like I woke up at half four in the morning, like could not get back to sleep for the life of me. Felt absolutely horrendous. I just went downstairs, watched some YouTube, 
managed to get a couple more hours but like I was really I knew I was gonna be busy that day anyway so that was just like awful so I had like no time to just chill and then obviously the day after was my party still felt awful I don't want to say it's got worse but it's certainly not got any better I think I'm just gonna use some more of that just to go on like the outer corner and that I don't know but I think I might do like a half cut crease kind of thing so I don't know if I mentioned what concealer I'm using I'm just using the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Concealer Also, I have no idea why, but I have got the theme tune from Tots TV stuck in my head. Like, I can't say that I've watched it recently, do you know what I mean? Just using my finger just to, like, dab over it. Because obviously I don't want to have loads of excess. So, I'm going to go in with Zola. For this little section right here, I think I'm gonna go in with some pink first. And just bring it right up to it. And then a little touch of blue. Okay, so for now, all I'm gonna do is clean up under here and then get onto the face so I can come back to the eyes later because I don't know what I wanna do. Okay, so I cleaned up, used some primer and did a bit of concealer on the top of my brows just so that I don't go like ham on my foundation. I don't like ruin them. I can't find a foundation that I love. Can't do it. I've been searching everywhere. I'm about to try the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation. Again, I know a couple of people have said it's not good for dry skin. However, I tried it. I thought it felt really, really nice. It was really, really lightweight. So I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed and hope for the best. I don't know how much you need of this, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go with it. Let's see how this works. Okay, so already I'm noticing a problem, but I don't know whether that it's that primer. So I'm gonna wipe off what I've just put on and start again in a minute. Bear with me, bear with me. I want to give it a chance, you know. I took it all off. I put a moisturizer. I let it sink in. I'm just gonna do like one bit of my face at a time. I don't, I don't know why. I just feel like I should. I think I'm gonna finish my face before I make a decision. So, I have it on my face. Um, it literally feels like I've got nothing on. But it does kind of have like a powdery finish in a way. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think I'm gonna have to see what it looks like with the rest of my makeup on. Realistically, this concealer should be darker, uh, darker. Should be lighter than my foundation because I actually wasn't the lightest shade for once, which was a shocker. I shouldn't have a problem, but I have a feeling that I will. So I need to powder under my eyes just to stop it from like creasing or anything. I'm just gonna put a tiny little bit on my face just because I don't want to be like worrying about putting on 
like bronzer contour or anything like that. I don't know how I feel right now. I might use some setting spray now before I finish my eyes. Okay, I've been thinking about what I want to do underneath my eye. But I can't quite come to a decision. I think I might just make it the same. Same kind of deal. Obviously a little bit of Burkina. And a little bit of Bori. So I'm gonna take a little bit of Giza. I think that's how it's said. And I'm gonna use that to highlight to the gouts. And I think I'm gonna use that to under my brow bone as well. So it's like really there. For mascara, I'm going to be trying out the Too Faced Better Than Sex. I do have both the normal and like a little travel size of the waterproof, but I'm going to just try out the normal one first because I just want to see how that works. I'm going to curl my ashes. I'm going to curl my ashes. This was so bad. I literally will rest the bottom of the mirror on my boobs. Oh, it's a great start. Yeah, I'm a fan. Hopefully you can see that it really does like separate your lashes. So they're not like super clumpy or anything like that, but it just looks really, really nice. Um, but the, the big thing, to, I need to go to bed. The big thing for me with mascara is that it does tend to like just come off throughout the day. So that's going to be the really deciding factor on whether I like this or not. Um, hopefully I do. I'll keep you updated on that one. I'm not gonna lie, the brush is like a bit overwhelming. Like it's huge, but I'm sure I'll get used to it. I meant to mention as well, I was actually two years vegan last week and it's like it's weird in a way because obviously I'm like I can't believe it's been two years already and it's like at the same time it just feels like it's been forever I feel like this has been a really like NYX orientated tutorial but it wasn't supposed to be I'm just gonna go in with the highlight and contour pro palette I use this quite a bit as you can probably tell this one I really like using for face charts because um, it's just a really good like skin colour. I just really like it. It's good. get that double chin, you know? <laughs> My hair's really out of the stage where it's just getting so in the way. I put way too much on one side. Naturally, I'm gonna go for a nice pink blush, but I don't wanna put too much on, because obviously, We've got a hell of a lot going on already, so I'm just gonna and obviously we can't skip highlight like so I'm just gonna use the I Heart Makeup Goddess of Love highlight which I pretty much use every single time I wear makeup like I love it. Uh, do I want to do another coat of mascara? I think 
Yes. I'm just gonna finish this look off with quite a nude lip, obviously, because of this situation going on. This is the Primark lip liner pencil. I really like the Primark lip pencils. Like, they're so affordable and like, really nice. Um, this color is Rosewood Mauve. So I'm just gonna use that to line my lips. And no, I'm not taking the foundation off. Please don't kill me. Okay, so basically I've like done a nice thick line and I'm really really roughly filling them in and then using my finger and then I'm just going to go over with a lip gloss now this one isn't cruelty through cruelty free um, I got it about three years ago, I'm literally just trying to use them up, um, but literally just any like brownie nude lip gloss will do. And we're done. This is what the makeup looks like a little bit more close up. I'm really happy with the eyeshadows. I feel like they're really easy to blend. They're really pigmented. Um, I, I just, yeah, I like them. Um, really like the mascara. I just want to see how it wears throughout the day. If it literally doesn't fall out everywhere, then I'm going to love it. So, there you go. Foundation. Um, does feel matte, but it doesn't feel drying. So, we're going to see how that goes. I feel like because of the weather I'm probably gonna like this a little bit more if it was winter and there was quite a lot of like say I don't know indoor heating and things like that I'm not sure how I'd feel about it but as of right now I like it um so I hope you enjoyed this video I hope it was a little bit more interesting to have like a sort of update slash tutorial like chatty thing all together who knows I hope that my voice wasn't like so so annoying um i can't help that I'm, I'm i'm sorry but yeah let me know what you want to see next down below in the comments give this video a big thumbs up if you did like it and don't forget to just turn... ah <laughs> give this video a big thumbs up if you did like it and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already i'm really close to like 300 subs i'm actually gonna jump out of this fucking window i'm really close to 300 subscribers which i know for like most people is not a lot but like that's kind of been my goal since before my 20th birthday so yeah basically that's what i want to get to and i do really want to do a giveaway for that if you've been here a long time you've probably been waiting for that a long time because i mentioned it but the only, the only way it's going to come quicker is if i get more subscribers so tell your friends tell your family and then i'll have a nice little surprise other than that hopefully next time i see you i'll be feeling better i hope that your day has gone really really well and i hope you have a great day week month year life and i shall see you very soon bye